Okay, everybody, we're gonna go through the things that we're gonna need for the hanging chandelier for your gazebo, or you can put it on a tree. First things first, this is a, I guess it's like a Frisbee. Um, you can get whatever ones, they have different ones at the dollar store, different print and stuff like that. So you'll need one of these, which we'll sh I will show you. Uh, let me see how am I gonna cut it here. I'm just gonna cut it out just so you know what I'm talking about when I... You're gonna need one of these. This is gonna be your base that you're gonna hang your lights, uh, the twine, the flowers. So after this, I'm just gonna show you the materials and then I'm gonna do the video of putting it together. So there you go. So you need one of these. You will need twine. So the twine will be for wrapping it. You will need one of these hooks. You can get them at any dollar store. It has the one hook at the bottom and then I believe the three, which will go on each side on the other side to hang it. We'll need these lights. They actually light up like that. They're really cute. I use two boxes, so we're gonna need those. And then I'm going to put the green on here. And what I'm gonna do to put the green when I go around after I put the twine on, I'm actually gonna use some zip ties. Uh, they come in different colors. I picked the green ones, I picked the little smaller ones. You can get them at the dollar store as well. And I'm gonna hang the twine. Uh, once the twine's over it, I'm gonna hang the green over it. But I'm first gonna put the lights on. We're gonna come out with a beautiful chandelier for outside your gazebo, like I said, the tree. Uh, you would need props, something like this, so as you're going along, you can hold it up because you're going to have to hang your lights. First thing you do is your lights. So I'm going to start doing this and show you how we can do it. Now that I've actually went through and I put, we don't worry about the battery packs, but what I actually went and did, so I did get them all on there. As you can see, the battery packs we will tie up at the end. So I'm just showing you. So now I'm gonna go and take, I got this one piece of green, which I think will be more than, more than enough from the dollar store. It's a big long reef, or not reef, um, leaves. And I'm actually just going to cut pieces off like this and then I'm going to zip tie them with the green little zip ties down here. I'm going to zip tie them all the way around before I put the burlap on. So it's going to be a little bit confusing putting the burlap going in between the leaves and the stems. But um, I'll get going to that now and I want to go all the way around. Um, yeah, so let me get that going. So we will start here. I think I can put it this way. I'm 
I need my tweezers to pull them through. But once you get them tied, which that one's tied right now, and then you just go all the way around and zip tie it all the way around. And you just keep going from there. I'm just gonna stop the video. I'm gonna be right back and we'll move on to the next step after I put on all the greens. Okay, everybody, I went through and put all the green on. So you can see all the balls around there. And then I put all the green, I zip tied it to the form of it. And the next thing I'm gonna do is going to put the twine on it. So I'm gonna go through, it's gonna take, this will probably be the most tedious part to go and do because you actually have to lift up the leaves and wrap it around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause this video once I get around, and when you go around, you're just gonna have to watch the leaves. This is gonna be the hard part, but it's gonna turn out really beautiful, I'm sure. So we'll be right back once I get all the twine on. Okay, everybody, I finally put the twine on. I added a few more greens on and I actually did not put the flowers on. I actually wanted to try something a little bit different and I actually added a top layer, which is another flying saucer, which was a little bit smaller. So it kind of gives you that really chandelier look to it. I put the battery pack, I actually glued it on, but make sure when you glue it on that you put the top part where it's easy just to slide off and put your batteries when they need to be changed on it. I put the, the one chain on and then the second chain, I actually made it shorter and I just took a portion of that chain off to make it shorter so it just has a nice clean look to it. And overall, I think it turned out really, really beautiful and I cannot wait to get this in my gazebo this summer. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'd be happy to answer them. And please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon with the next craft. Have a great evening. Bye.